Hello students, myself Dr. Divya Gildiyal in continuation with my lecture series for AKTU Energy Science and Engineering BTEC second year syllabus. This is my uh, last lecture for your heading conventional and non-conventional energy sources. Please subscribe to my channel in order to receive a fully solved model paper four five days before your final exam. Okay, in this heading, I have briefed you all the headings of your syllabus and I am just going to continue with my wave power. What is a wave? Now, water on an ocean surface is in the form of a wave. It is consisting of uh, wave energy. It is a form of renewable energy that can be harnessed from the motion of the wave. Many methods are there for harnessing this wave energy, which involves placing electricity generators also on the surface of the ocean. So wave power is produced by floating turbine platforms that rise and fall with the swell of the wave. Wave power can be generated by exploiting the changes in air pressure occurring in wave capture chambers that face the sea or changes in wave pressure on the ocean floor. Wind produces waves and waves produce energy. As the waves travel across the ocean, high-tech devices capture the natural movement of ocean currents and the flow of swells to generate power. See, a wave is moving up and down, up and down like this. So what, how has this been utilized? The wave is actually going up and down. It is creating a rise and fall, rise and fall, resulting in pressure difference, resulting in power extraction and resulting in generation of electricity. See, when the power of air force, when we are working near a seashore is generated with the help of waves, when wind passes over the water surface, it leads to pressure difference between the upper and bottom wind, which results in the generation of winds. This wave energy which is captured can be used for several useful works like water distillation, electric generator, etc. See here the wave power generation. The waves are going up and down. This pressure difference has been captured and I explained you in my second lecture the formula that we get with the pressure difference, the amount of power generated, and we run this turbine with the help of this, and turbine generates electricity as per requirement. Ocean waves energy and its type. Ocean wave energy is a natural source of energy and is directly captured from the pressure fluctuations below the surface or from the surface area itself. So they are basically divided into ocean thermal type and ocean mechanical type. Ocean mechanical energy, electricity is produced by taking energy from the ocean in three main types. That is the channel system, which are used to funnel the waves into the reservoirs, Float systems, which are used to run the hydraulic pumps, the column system used to compress the air present within the containers. Ocean thermal energy uses the temperature of the sea water to run a heat engine and produce electricity. Hydroelectricity. This has been asked in AKTU exam. Hydro means water. And hydro 
basically is not related to me boiling water or using it is require uh, using the concept of gravitational force of the falling water mgh hydroelectricity refers to the generation of electric power by the use of hydropower hydropower mainly is the gravitational force of the falling water this does not use any water in energy production but it uh, is using hydroelectricity which is the most widely used form of renewable energy accounting for 3% of the world's total energy consumption the cost of hydroelectricity is relatively low giving it a competitive edge as a source of energy the output can be controlled as required by the need hydro power plant hydroelectricity is produced by utilizing the gravitational force of falling water mgh to this end the hydro power plant requires a dam this dam is placed on the source of water preferably a river the dam is a massive wall that blocks the flow of river therefore a lot of water collects behind the dam near the bottom of the dam there is an intake from which the water is led into the dam and this intake leads to a drop through the penstock inside the dam and the device used to obtain energy from the falling water here is a turbine and this turbine this flowing water because of the height difference see the dam is at a kept at a height and this is my base so the water is flowing from this height it is creating hydropower this hydro power has been used to run my turbine and generate electricity as per my requirement this is the basic diagram hydro electricity is produced this way what are your general practice questions for this unit define the following terms biological energy fossil fuel viscosity combustion how does biomass generate energy write a short note on fossil fuel state the three types of wind energies what are fluid forces what is the formula for lifting force draw a diagram for wind turbine state the types of wind turbines write a short note on ocean thermal energy conversion power plant discuss the drawbacks of tidal power now quickly we will revise this unit before our exams the two major sources of energy are conventional energy sources and the non conventional ones conventional ones ones used are over like coal petroleum electricity firewood etc non conventional ones are nature dependent they generate a larger amount of energy but the and they are also responsible for clean and green environment but they are nature dependent like solar energy wind energy tidal energy hydro energy bio energy is an energy that has been produced from organic matter which has been derived from plants or animals wind energy is also used by wind to generate electricity wind turbines convert kinetic energy into mechanical power this mechanical power is converted into electrical power for various uses fossil fuels in existence with produced over a long time from dead of plant and animals that have lived for millions of years and these fossil fuels which are a combination of large number of hydrocarbon compounds are depleting fast from the earth surface like petroleum coal natural gas fluid mechanics one has to understand that fluid mechanics means the utilization of the concept of fluid dynamics in obtaining energy the wind energy formula is power is equal to half into rho air density into area swept by the blades of my wind turbine windmill or any type of uh, uh, area swept into velocity of the wind 
cubic power b cube so p is equal to half rho a b cube viscosity is a measure of the fluids resistance to flow formula is force upon area is equal to viscosity meta into del b by del z that is the velocity gradient si unit of viscosity is pascal second continuity equation is area into velocity is a constant bernoulli's principle states that the total mechanical energy of the moving fluid comprising the gravitational potential energy of elevation energy associated with the kinetic energy of the motion of my fluid and energy associated with fluid pressure is a constant and bernoulli's principle gives the principle of conservation of energy formula is p plus half rho v square plus rho g h equal to constant where p is pressure exerted by the fluid v is velocity of fluid rho is density of fluid h is height of container half rho v square is kinetic energy per unit volume rho g h is potential energy per unit volume many types of flow of fluids are there like turbulent uh, uh, laminar steady unsteady rotational irrotational compressible incompressible lift is that component of force that is perpendicular to the oncoming flow direction lift is always accompanied by a drag force hydroelectricity refers to the generation of electric power by the use of hydropower hydropower here mainly is the gravitational force of falling water thank you please subscribe to my channel